The Greenberg name is a part of daily life in Ottawa. It is seen on street signs, university campuses, and the city's leading healthcare facilities, all named out of gratitude for the generosity of a family who has built a long-standing legacy of hope. One of the amazing things when I, when I joined the Greenberg family was realizing that I was joining a family that was very much dedicated to service, to making the world a better place. The Queensway Carlton Hospital Foundation is proud to honor the remarkable leadership and community spirit inspired by the late Shirley and Irving Greenberg. I met Shirley and Irving in the 1950s. Uh, Shirley and I were secretaries to High Soloway and we bonded immediately. Uh, we ended up sharing an apartment together in Toronto and I met Irving many times when he came to spend time in Toronto with Shirley. We would spend our dinners with a, a friend of mine who had a private dinner club across the street and Irving and he would be into politics and world justice and social justice until two in the morning. The young couple dated for close to three years before they made the decision to marry in 1959. True to who they were, the ceremony was small and intimate. Taking place in front of a justice of the peace in the old city hall building in Toronto with close friends by their side. Shirley moved back to Ottawa with Irving and about a year and some later, we had their first born, Danny. And about three years after that, Phoebe came into their lives. While raising three young children, her eldest, Marty, along with Dan and Phoebe, Shirley attended university as a mature student, and Irving took time off from Minto so that Shirley could dedicate herself to her studies. Shirley did an undergraduate degree at Carleton in sociology, and then she decided to go to law school. Throughout all of this, she had Irving's full support. At the age of 45, Shirley earned her law degree, one of only nine women in a class of 60. And from there, she went on to a distinguished career. She was a trailblazer in almost everything she did, from opening Ottawa's first all-female law firm to establishing resources for health, education, and legal rights for women and Indigenous people. She had all sorts of women getting uh, interested in social justice, especially uh, family law. She had the Ottawa Women's Lobby Group. They were very successful. Among her many awards are an honorary doctorate at the University of Ottawa, the Queen's Jubilee Medal, the Order of Ontario, and the Order of Canada. Shirley was a unique woman. She could be a friend to everyone, and she just loved everyone. She was not judgmental. She was helpful, she was kind, understanding, and she could also be as tough as she needed to be. For Irving and his brothers Louis, Gilbert, and Lori, they were building a real estate company that would become Minto Corporation. Irving was a visionary. Uh, he was driven. Uh, he came from a poor background, only had public school education, and yet built a great company. Irving uh, was a community builder, uh, and he saw things through the lens of uh, helping communities grow and contributing back uh, to both Ottawa and to the country. Shirley and Irving became leaders in community philanthropy, supporting causes that were important to them. They were a dynamic force. They just invested more time in taking the money that Irving had successfully earned and turning it into opportunities to, to fund their social justice causes. They went very quietly about their lives. They were not interested in spotlight at all. They were doing what they were doing because they were dedicated to making lives better for everyone. One of Irving's greatest passions was his commitment to the Queensway Carlton Hospital. 10 years after the hospital's opening in 1976, he led its Vital Signs fundraising campaign, which was part of an ambitious $33 million expansion project to add additional acute care beds. He's essentially seconded uh, members of his company to work, you know, very, very, you know, ex 
intensively on the on the campaign in those days. The cool thing was how my dad was very hands-on. Fundraising was new to him. You know, I don't think he had been involved in this sort of campaign before, but you know, he he took it to heart and he he would do anything he could to make it a success. Working closely with QCH President John Sutherland, Irving assembled a close-knit team of friends, family, colleagues, and associates, along with QCH team members and volunteers. Featuring an appearance at QCH of internationally renowned singer Nana Muscuri, the campaign went on to exceed its $5 million goal. Uh, my dad grew up Jewish, and it's part of the uh, giving back is is a huge part of the Jewish religion. So I think it was very natural for him, what, as a successful business person, helping to run a family business. It was very, very natural for him to get involved with, uh, later on in life, get involved with the community, get involved with QCH. Um, you know, he, he wanted Ottawa to be a better place for everybody. In 2008, after Irving passed, his family continued its commitment to QCH by making a large donation in support of the Irving Greenberg Family Cancer Center. For me, certainly when I when I was chair of a campaign, you know, a number of years later, I, I felt that, you know, very strongly, not only was I, I was, you know, I was following his footsteps. I really, that, that really, uh, touched me a lot. I love QCH, I love the hospital, and it's, you know, it's it's certainly one of our favorite uh, places to give in the community. And, um, you know, it just keeps getting better and better. Healthcare continues to be a key focus for the Greenbergs. For Shirley, in 2013, she connected her deep commitment to women's health and empowerment of women through a major donation to QCH Foundation to establish the Shirley E. Greenberg Breast Imaging Suite. One of the things that she felt very strongly about was improving, again, access, improving accuracy, improving uh, diagnoses for women uh, dealing with breast cancer. Her donation to the to the Queensway Carlton, the Breast Imaging Center, was something that was was very very important to her. But that was typical of Shirley. She looked and said, "What's not being done? Where's something that is needed?" And that's where that's where she decided to put her money. And just months before her passing in 2022. Shirley quietly made another major donation to the QCH Foundation in support of the hospital's key priorities. Together with their loving family, we celebrate the strength, courage, and determination Shirley and Irving Greenberg shared with our community. Their generosity will live on through the many big and little miracles with which they blessed our city.